When lofting between two profiles with different numbers of edges, it is not always readily apparent which points or edges are being connected. Toggling the Show Connection tick box will now show all implicitly created points of connection. This can be useful if you want to reduce or even introduce twist to your loft. Adding and adjusted explicitly created connection points will also show you in real time how these implicit connection points have changed. This will give you a better understanding of your lofted result before you click the green check to finish the feature. When in a sketch, you may now use the extend feature to extend a previously trimmed ellipse. You can even extend the partial ellipse all the way back to a full ellipse. This improvement to on-shape drawings allows for wider and taller drawings. Previously, the maximum width and height was only 200 inches. This limit has been extended to 1800 inches to allow for more detailed information to appear on drawings. This can be especially helpful for those trying to make one-to-one -one scale DXFs for manufacturing purposes. With more space to work, designers and engineers can include additional views, sections, and details to ensure that all design aspects are fully captured. Flag notes are a method of cross-referencing one area or annotation on a drawing to a list of notes. If a numbered list is used in notes, the notes can then be flagged to reference other references on the drawing. This helps communicate information clearly. This improvement allows users to adjust the size of these flags as they're being created. This update brings the opportunity to show nominal as well as the upper and lower limits for whole features and inspection items. Onshape allows users to create inspection items for 2D drawings. This feature can be useful for manufacturing or quality control purposes as it allows users to specify which dimensions, tolerances, and other features on a drawing must be inspected. Users can select which items they want to include in the inspection by clicking the inspection items icon and placing the inspection item symbols next to the item to be included. Once the inspection items have been selected and organized, users can export them as a CSV. As you can see, there are now upper and lower limits for the holes in addition to the nominal values. Once the code is committed, imports that are linked at a version show a version icon on the right. If an import is out of date, it automatically highlights in blue. Right-click anywhere on an import row to update the version reference. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.